So how do we know if a model is any good? Well, it depends on what you're using your model for. Explanation. We want to understand the relationships between variables. And prediction. We want to use your model to predict something new. An example of explanation from section one, fitting and integration in R, was when we uncovered a significant relationship between diamond carat and price. And prediction was where we used our model to predict the price of a new diamond with a certain number of carats. We've talked mainly about explanations so far in this course, but we'll now switch gears a bit. The idea of explanation versus prediction is discussed in detail in the excellent paper by Schmeli from 2010. You'll find a reference underneath this video. I suggest that you get a copy and read it. But in this section, I will give you a short precy to get you thinking about how we approach model selection. Schmeli splits models into three types, explanatory models, predictive models, and descriptive models. The approach to how we choose a model and then fine tune it all depends on how we're going to use it. For example, linear models are great for explanation, while machine learning, like deep learning, we'll talk about this later in the course, are much better suited to predictive modeling. Also, the techniques we use to validate the models depend on the use. For example, cross-validation is great for predictive modeling, while information criterion are better suited for explanation. So now that we've had an overview, let's get into some more details.